Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know what's really bothering me uh, a lot is the fact that I called it uh, about two years ago, and I've been calling it out ever since that Donald Trump is the closest thing to Adolf Hitler. And, um, of course, you know, I've been censored because, well, I won't say censored, YouTube has found a way to uh, just, you know, demonetize the videos. and uh, I guess they consider them offensive. But what I consider offensive is this man's behavior. And I was like, well, what are they? Are they in on it or something? Because some of this content, I'm not saying that I don't, I, I stand above correction with everything, but I just wanted people to see the parallels. And, it, it, you know, is it because I've lived alone and I'm one of the older uh, content creators of those of us that are on here? Um, creating current event or narcissistic personality disorder content. And we saw the similarities and a lot of us tried to bring it out uh, about Donald Trump. And it just seemed like we were stifling, like we were, um, you know, pretty much put the handcuffs on. Now it's not until this General Milley is out here saying, in this, in this new book, I alone can fix it. Exact same thing that I said, and I find that just you know not not just validating. I find it unfortunately validating. I wish I was wrong because y'all already know what happened with Hitler. Hit, history is right there for you to see. And for those of y'all who think this is a damn joke, uh, think this man and his personality disorder stuff is not real, um, you don't know anything about narcissism and their ability to persuade people. They have these flying monkeys that will do anything, which is like the Republican Party. This this personality has attached itself to the Republican Party, and all these. Uh, things and people are flying monkeys willing to do any and everything to defend their grandmaster uh, Donald Trump. And unfortunately, if you don't know about anything about narcissism, I mean, most people have a healthy amount of, of narcissism, but this, you don't know what I'm talking about if you don't examine this man and what his behaviors have been. So, this is why I said, um, you know, it's a, it's sad to see people taking this guy so lightly and the devastation that he's done. He's he's linked souls with all the rest of these um, white supremacists. He's waking, awakened them. They were already there, but they was laying dormant. They wasn't able to reap the havoc that they wanted to because it was unacceptable and they would have been called out in a different way. They finally put their marbles in place. Put a severe narcissist at the hems of the presidency because they knew he was the crown. Whoever put him up in there knew he was who he was neither qualified or um, in a position had this scholar to to even be president. Yet still. He became president because somebody is pushing an agenda. People always talk about, oh, it's a gay agenda, it's a gay agenda, which I find just so stupid. Because if you look at the real agenda, it's right in front of your face, and that's the one y'all don't want to be bothered with. Uh, first of all, I always shut people down when they talk about the gay agenda because I tell them this. Okay, if that's what you want to, you know, perceive the bigger society as doing, go right ahead. However, I would just give you an argument that there's been gay people all throughout history. And it ain't never stopped them from making kids. 
Okay, so y'all, that that is the most stupid argument as far as I'm concerned, and that if that that it's another distraction. Okay, the agenda here is almost going back to biblical days in the Book of Solomon, when you had the two women who had the dead baby. And one claimed that the uh, uh, the one who knew her baby died and got up in the middle of the night and switched the baby off. Okay. The one, when the king said, uh, uh, um, hey, I tell you what, I can't, when they went to the king to tell him their story, when he said, hey, look, I can't decide who baby is, so I tell you what, we'll just split the baby in half. The woman that said, okay, yeah, go ahead and split it. They knew that he knew right then and there. That the baby didn't belong to her. Because no rational and sane human being would say split a baby in half. See, she already lost the baby. You could already tell. Because the mother who really baby was said, oh, no, 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 no. Don't split the baby in half. Just let her have it. That's the case. You get it? So, I'm tying that in with the madness that we're experiencing right now with this narcissist and this narcissistic personality of Donald Trump that's got these flying monkeys that are willing to split this country in half then be wrong or then to re-examine themselves and to hold on to that power and to y'all that should really be a scary thing but like I said you can go back to my videos a couple years ago I tell you this was reminding you of the brown shirts and the third right and this this is exactly what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. And I wish that we would wake up to that fact. That there's a fastest element in this country that's trying to take it over. Um, annihilate and put back, roll the hands back on blonde, black and brown people to knock down all the accomplishments that we have done over the last 400 years and to operate a third right type of government with a fascist, with an insane person that is mentally just distorted. And this is who he's sprinkling this crazy dust on these people. And that's what we got going out here right now. For those of y'all who haven't read the book, listen to some of the excerpts from it. And better yet, get an audio book and listen to it. And this country is going to hell in a handbasket. Just like Farrakhan said, hell in a handbasket if you vote for Donald Trump. And that's what we've had ever since then. Pandemic. COVID-19. Madness, racist, Karens, kids, all, everything on the turn up. Everything at 5.0. He's not even in president and he's still invoking and evoking the kind of madness that he was doing because you got the flying monkeys now doing his bidding for him. We better take heed, people. And I think um, the right to vote is trying to be taken away from us. That's because it's important. Taking your guns away from you is uh, a reason. Um, and you notice in our community, they always say, buy them back. So you be left naked. We got a lot of thinking to do, y'all. And I know we better grow up because we so elementary in all our politics and all our thinking and all that stuff. And we like to just gather. But we got to have our hands on the plow right now. And um, just know who the enemy and the opposition is. Because that's very important. All right, family. With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share. So I can figure out how to make a title out of this uh, thing so it won't get struck down.